hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been um, on today's video we are going to show you how to carry out a um, two-peg test you know two-peg test is a very important um, test you carry out when you want to use your leveling instrument and then um, on today's video we are using this um, power level from um, Sokia and then we are going to use the manual method which is um, not going to maybe turn on the the instrument so the first thing is that um, you have a that's a fairly horizontal ground and on that um, fairly horizontal ground you mark out maybe 20 meters or 30 meters as the case may be then you now put your instrument you set up your instrument at the center which is where we are set up now then a staff will be at the zero mark and then at the ending so we are using a 20 meter um, length here therefore the instrument is on 10 and then the staff will be on zero and what and 20. then the first thing we are going to do now is that we are going to look at look through the telescope and do what and get the back side and the foresight by back side we mean the first observation and then by foresight we mean the we mean the last observation we are going to take before we do what before we uh, move the instrument to the new point now the new point will be five meter closer to the first point which should be on the five meter mark so that's how would i say that's how to peg test is being carried out so you set up your instrument in the middle and then you move your instrument very close to one of the points which in this case we are moving it close to the zero mark and we are moving it to the five or let's say we are moving it to five meters or that's where we are going to move it to very soon after the first set of observation so upon completing the observation we are going to show you the the readings we have and how we would carry out what the computations so please don't forget the process is what you have a fairly horizontal terrain you set up your instrument in the middle you take your staff reading to the beginning which is zero and then maybe if you are using a 20 meter we are using a 20 meter and then you put your staff on the 20 meter which will now serve as what your backside so you your sorry your foresight your your foresight rather because zero will be your backside that's the first observation then your 20 meter will be what your foresight then you move the instrument you set it up very close to what one of the let's say the first point which is like um, close to the zero mark which is on the fifth meter then you make your deductions so we are going to show you how to carry out the deductions very very soon all right um we have actually um done the field observation or we are done with the observation and these were the values we top the the instrument was on the 10 meter mark and then the the staff reading to our backside was um 1.469 meters and then the staff reading to our foresight was 1.165 meters so as we said earlier you are going to move the instrument to let's say very close to one of the points and we moved it to let's say the 50 meter which in this case was the second setup so on the fifth meter rather we have um, 1.482 as the as the back side and then we have um, 1.180 as the foresight so the formula or let's say the, the the calculation or the computation or the the deduction or whatever we want to call it for the two peg test will be the first change in h will be what your back side minus what your foresight which is what you have seen here back side minus foresight so what's the first back side the first back side is 1.469 minus the foresight is what 1.165 so we're having 0 0.304 please you get a calculator and you confirm these values for yourself then the change in h2 will be what for the second setup it will be 1.482 minus what 1.180 so by the time you use your calculator you will get something like 0.302 meters therefore the change in age which will be like the error or let's say the the, the crux of the two-peg test 
will now be um, changing h1 minus changing h2 the essence of that um, modulus sign there is that perhaps if you use the smaller one before the bigger one you can just ignore the sign and just take it as positive however if it's the bigger one before the smaller one you know something like two minus one and one minus two and yeah, something like that so that's why we put the modulus sign there so you have what 0.304 minus 0.302 all in meters so we are having something like 0.002 very good now how do we check um, on the video, we have actually talked about how to read the leveling staff. We have told you how to carry out um, computation using what um, your is it um, is it rise and fall and then the height of collimation method. So the essence of this is just to I say just to show you that uh, there is what we call them test of instrument. So for you to carry out check for I think a third order, you use 24 millimeter root k where your k is the distance covered in what in kilometers so our k in this case is 20 meter remember that we set up on a 20 meter mark sorry we are setting up on it we are using the 20 meter and then we set up on the 10 and the 50 meter mark so our k is 20 meter but in kilometer we are having 0.02 kilometers right so by the time you do your computation you should be able to have 0.03034 so we see that the error we got, which is in 0.002, is still within 0.0034, which means the leveling instrument is okay and it can be used for this particular or any, would I say, form of, um, would I say, leveling you would want to use it for. So the essence of this video is to show you how to do what, how to carry out what, to peg test, which is actually the test for what, for leveling instrument. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution to this um, particular solving problem. If you have any issue, you can always um, reach out to us. And if you're coming to the channel for the first time, support us by subscribing. And if you have always been there, thanks for always um, checking up on us. We will see you on our next video. Until then, keep being good at what you're doing. And have a nice time. Bye.